the way. It is April 6th, 2023, and as you can see, there's still a little bit of snow on the ground out here, but today is the first day of the year that I walked out of the house and I wasn't wearing a coat. It is 57 degrees, it is not raining, and I'm gonna open up the hives. So we definitely have had a long winter. It started off pretty mild and things were going great. We had some cold weather in February and things were very snowy in March. We are definitely having some warmer days now, but the nights are still freezing. The bees are not flying all that much, but on the days they are flying, I've noticed some of the hives are busier than others. I know that all of the bee barns are alive. All of the colonies have survived in the bee barns, second year in a row. I'm gonna spoil that right up front, but I know some are weaker than others. Some are definitely have lost some, uh, some numbers. So I'm gonna go through the hives today, open everybody up, take from the larger hives and try and equalize a little bit this time of year, give the smaller hives a little boost if I can, and try and keep those bigger hives from wanting to swarm early in the year. So let's open up the hives and see what is going on. This is the beach hive and this is a monster. This hive is so big, I've been giving them food for the last few weeks. They've had over a gallon of syrup because I was afraid they just ran out of honey in there. Look at the size of this colony. It's just massive. This queen probably was laying eggs all winter long. And this is the first time opening this hive since October. There's no mold in here. There's no excess water dripping everywhere. This hive has been sealed completely tight the entire winter. And again, I've been feeding them because I thought they, they may be low because the colony is so massive. But let's see if I find any honey in here. Oh, there is honey in here. So this massive colony in the last six months still has capped honey in here from the fall. Another full frame, holy cow. All right, they do not need any more food, that's for sure. It's a frame of brood right here. Drones. There she is. Queen, I'm just gonna grab you quick. Okay. Yep. Get in there. You stay right there. There's capped brood, emerging brood, and a lot of nurse bees on here. So I'm going to give this to the maple hive. First I'm going to just shake some bees in. And then putting in the frame of brood. Okay, so brood right here in the middle, right next to where the queen was. Okay, you guys got a little boost there. Take care of that brood. I'm gonna take this somewhat empty frame here so the queen can lay into it on the other hive and then just close them back up. And hopefully that will be a, a little boost for them for the next month or so. And I'm gonna give them some pollen, a pollen patty. Maybe give the queen a little inspiration. Okay, you got some new brood to take care of and you have some pollen now. Okay. Maple hive is boosted. I I'm gonna just see if there's more brood in this first frame. There is some brood here. Maybe take that other frame of brood for the birch hive, which is also looking a little small. I'm gonna go check them out now. Okay, this is another small one. This one was small kind of going into fall. They're still alive, but it's very, very small.
Here they are. I'm not dead. He says he's not dead. Yes, he is. I'm not. He isn't? Well, he will be soon. He's very ill. I'm getting better. No. All right. I'm coming. I'm coming. Poor bees. It's been a long winter. There's a queen. She is teeny tiny. But she's there. Okay, let's give them some bees. Okay, let's go see what we can do to boost this hive up. Some bees from the beach hive. If I can shake some more bees in from one of the other hives. See if we have any brood in the oak hive. Look at that. Nice. Again, no no water problems at all. Everything's, you know, the bees are using the water, so everything is relatively dry because they're using it but there's no mold in the corners, you know? It's all good. All right, let's get a few frames out of here and see if we can get some brood to share with the birch hive. Give them a little boost. Fresh eggs in there. That'll stay. Brood on here. Emerging brood. This would be a good a good frame for the birch hive. Okay, she's fine. She's right there. I'm gonna take a frame of brood out of here and put it into the birch hive and shake some of these bees in with the birch hive. This is a great frame of brood right here. A lot of nurse bees keeping it warm. So I'm gonna put this into the birch hive. All right, back to the birch hive. I put bees in there from the beach hive, but also from the oak hive. So there's a blend of bees in here, plus the original bees. And then when I put the original queen in there, uh, the, the bees were attacking her. So I have her in her own little cage right now. I'm going to put her in there as if I'm introducing a new queen and hopefully they will, uh, they'll get to know her a little better. So we got bees taking care of brood on this frame. And there's brood on this frame. Okay, I'm gonna leave her in there. Hopefully they feed her and take care of her. I'll come back here. In a couple days, hopefully they get used to her. Put a little pollen in here for them. They're clustering right up. That's a good sign. That's great. They, they weren't clustered a little while ago. Now they're all kind of clustering up. So hopefully that brood, you know, takes and uh, they get to know the queen a little bit in there. All right, bees just... Uh, Stay alive. This was definitely the the weakest colony going into winter and you know definitely the weakest colony coming out of winter but hey they came out of winter and there was a queen in there and maybe she'll survive and if not we requeen with one of our other nukes. We've got six living nukes in the bee yard so we can always you know take a good queen from a nuke and put it in here and start over but uh, they survived with that extra insulation. That colony never would have lived in a regular wooden box. No way. 
Pine Hive, a lot of activity out front. So the big story here is Bee Barn version 2.0 had no moisture problems. Wow, this is a full frame of honey. This is completely packed. That probably weighs 10 pounds right there. And another, completely full. Nice little patch of brood. This is a colony that blew up really fast last year. They started out kind of like this last year and then they just they exploded. You know we have capped brood. There's got to be a queen in here. There's brood everywhere. Oh, she's right there. She's at the bottom of the frame. Way down there. What are you doing down there? That's the same queen from last summer. Sorry to disturb you. Come on up. Yeah, come on up here and join your join your girls. We are queen right. I'm going to give them some pollen. They've got more than enough food. Crazy amount of food in here. Okay, right over the brood. Perfectly fine colony. Plenty of food. Brood laying queen. And they're going to build up starting now. Okay, Adrian Colony. This is the cherry hive. The Balboa Survivor Colony. Woohoo! These wall to wall. Doesn't look too thick, but uh, there's bees all over. Let's check for a queen. Give them some pollen, Patty. Again, uh, no water anywhere, no mold anywhere. Bee Barn 2.0, totally solid. The plexiglass stayed clear. If I had opened this colony three years ago, I would have called this a slamming hive in the first week of April. Um, these on every frame, now it's just kind of an average bee barn. There's a lot of bees flying out right now because it's like 65 degrees so the colonies look a little smaller than they actually are because there's a lot of foragers out like a lot but let's just make sure we're queen right in here plenty of honey look at this so after six months with no feeding you know full frames of honey so yeah there is no need to winter feed a bee barn completely filled four full frames they're gonna use it up though as they start brood rearing so much honey in here there's eggs there's eggs on this frame we are queen right in the cherry Adrian hive okay we have young larva in here capped brood emerging brood eggs everywhere I love this colony. The lineage of this colony can be traced back to my very first season. My survivor that made it the first winter. Capped brood everywhere. Just massive. All right, well, I might see her on the video, but I did not see her yet in person, but we are queen right. Eggs and, and emerging brood everywhere. So I'm just going to give them a, a pollen patty and call this one perfect. Okay, solid. If anything, they might need empty frames pretty soon to lay into. This is the poplar hive. This was a little nuke going into winter. They were strong. You know, they were they were good. And they look pretty slamming right now. Again, this was just a little nuke. Look at them now. This is Oak Genetics, one of my stronger hives. Lane Queen. 
tons of brood over here. Tons of brood. This is a very lightweight frame. So let's see how they're doing on stores. But look at that capped brood. There she is. Queen is... I just saw her, which there she is. She's right, right up there on the top. And this is a full frame of honey here. There might be some eggs over here. Tons of food in here. I have to give them some new frames in a couple of weeks. I'll let her lay this frame out. They need pollen patty. That is a slamming little colony. Okay, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that seven out of seven bee barns made it through winter. This is bee barn version 2.0. So this is now the second winter with 100% survival in the bee barns. There were two colonies that were small. One was pretty small and one was very small. That was the smallest colony going into winter, the birch hive. And I was kind of worried about it, but they came out. There was a baseball cluster in there with a queen alive after five months with zero interaction from me. I locked them up uh, basically November 1st and walked away. So I wasn't carrying hives inside of houses. I wasn't out there heating the hives. I wasn't feeding them emergency food or anything. I left the whole colony alone. They were alive on April 6th. So I added a frame of brood from the oak hive and I shook in a bunch of bees from the beach hive. So there's a lot more bees in there now and hopefully they are going to come back to life. The queen looks like she was getting attacked by the bees when I started shaking bees in there. They kind of went after her. So I put her into a cage and she's living in a cage for a couple days. So maybe they get used to her a little bit before I let her out of the cage. So hopefully she's okay, but chances are I'm gonna replace her anyway pretty soon because she was a weak queen last year and you know, it'd be good if a hive builds up, but she needs to go and be replaced anyway. But for now, I'm just gonna leave them alone. Maybe she'll lay some eggs in and add some brood to that hive. Uh, other than that though, zero water problems in the hives, no rotted wood, no, no problems. Bee Barn 2.0, smashing success. So all is good. I did not go through the nukes yet. I have six nukes. Um, they are wrapped up the same way the Bee Barns are, so I'm assuming they're okay. I did see flight, flights coming in and out of every one of the nukes today, so I'm gonna wait for another warm day. It's gonna get chilly for a few days now, but they're all flying today. So I didn't want to go in and bother them. They're all still tight from November 1st. So all is off to a pretty good start here in the Bee Barn Bee Yard. So thanks for watching. And as things go along, you will be hearing news right here on the channel.